Using the Cobbs Douglas production function, we're going to show now precisely how growth in the factors of input contributes to total GDP growth. If we assume that GDP is a variable that changes over time, then the growth in GDP is given by the derivative with respect to time. Fairly straightforward. Now, if we want to get the growth rate, we need to take this absolute value of the growth and then divide that by GDP to get something more like a percentage figure. So this is continuous growth. If we were looking at it in a discrete manner, then this would be the same as sort of y at time t minus y at time t minus 1. So that's all well and good. But if we want to look at a growth rate, we need to take that and then divide it by y at time t to get it as more of a percentage figure. So hopefully it's clear that once we've got the growth from this derivative, we need to actually divide it by GDP. And as it turns out, this expression is equal to this. Now I'm not going to try and prove this identity. If you're not really a math person, if you're happy to just accept that this is true, then that's all well and good. I don't think you would ever really need to be able to prove this for an economics course. But if you're the kind of person for whom you, know, you really need to be able to see exactly what